Also guys, I really wanted to throw on this board, so I grabbed my Allen suitors, and these are with the conversion points in blue, really nice dart. Just gonna have a quick throw, because I really, really wanna get going on this board, um, and then I'm gonna review with some of the new darts. Sounds lovely. Ooh. So pulling out is <laughs> so pulling out. That sounds rude. Um, so pulling out of the board is is very very soft, very soft. Um, not a bad thing necessarily, but very different from the uh, Samurai Two. See here, look how long these points are and how deeply that's penetrating. I mean, that's it's going all, all the way, I think, to the backboard there. That's quite deep. Um, hmm. Sound a little harder here, you can see that the penetration wasn't as deep. It can obviously go that deep, but it's depending on how hard you throw it. Probably about halfway up that section there. Hmm. I'm going to try the surls. Got long stems on them, so they probably won't go well, but. Very quiet. So those did go. Those did go extremely deep into the board. Um, my only worry at the moment is very soft. Um, lovely to throw on. see on this one here but literally it's a uh, got a finger between where that point's going in. Um, it's going quite deeply in. It doesn't look like it's showing any signs of like stuff coming out, any of the sides all coming out. I'll try throwing some love darts on it. sort of going up to where the grip point is. So it's good it's good penetration, it's not going too deep. I must say it's very enjoyable to throw on. I was concerned about how deep it was going from a from a review perspective from a review perspective but uh, it's really nice. Heels in the same way as the uh, as the uh, sort of heels in the same way that the blade carbon six does. 
I think with the Carbon 6 you get that deeper penetration lower down that's sort of more protected, so that's probably the slight difference, but at the moment really enjoyable to play on. First impressions, pretty good. Um, just it, it feels like the Blade 6 Carbon in terms of like how nice and I don't know, it's it almost feels like a unicorn ball, but I'm, already, I'm not seeing any of like the initial, do you know what, the sizal comes through straight away. So it's much deeper in terms of the colouring um, for those sections. But also, I don't know, it feels like a combination of the unicorn beauty, but also got that Blade 6 sort of healing, penetration. Yeah, it's looking good. I must say, <laughs> I really am enjoying it. I'm actually supposed to be going out now, meeting the darts referee and Bob's, but I just really want to keep throwing. It's a good sign. One more. Yeah. So far, Thumbs up. So, the mission Samurai Infinity. As you can see here, it is staple free, which gives it a nice clean look to the board. And so far, I haven't seen any warping whatsoever on the actual spider. They state larger scoring areas, although I do think they're actually regulation, as they state it on the back of the board. Now the vivid deeper printing does actually show on this board. You can see when you penetrate into the board, the colors are lasting a lot longer. It's really, really much better in terms of the printing. The numbers are white around the number ring, but they've also got black as the actual ring color. So it does pop a little bit better than just the standard white ring. And this new African sizal is a lot softer. I'm not sure about durability yet, but so far after three weeks, it's looking pretty good. In my three weeks of testing, I haven't found any hard spots. It does look pretty consistent around the entire board. And at $49.95, it's 5p cheaper than the Blade 6, which is his main competition. Now, I'm not just talking about vivid color when the board first comes out of the packaging. I'm talking about when you penetrate that color all the time. So say you're hitting that treble 20 section, does it keep its color or is it only skin deep and it starts losing its color as it gets worn? and to be honest, is looking really, really good. A great improvement from the Samurai 2. Now the Bulls Advantage 501 and the Shop Bandit Duro have the best wiring system. The blade system is pretty good. Unicorn is the one that's stuck up the most, but I think all boards have made a little bit more of improvement. I don't really have a big problem with the wiring system on most of the boards at this stage. What I'm really noticing with this board is when I'm playing on it, I'm enjoying as it enters the board. There's something about sizal, and you can tell whether it's good or bad or whether it suits you or not when you've thrown on it. So it's much more of a, once you've tried it, you'll know. Now I've put both boards here so we can actually have a look at the differences between the two. Already you can see that the coloring looks pretty nice on the new board. And only a small change to the numbering being black in the actual ring bit actually makes a huge difference. Now in all fairness this board has been used for probably a good six months to a year. I'm not entirely sure of taking it on and off as I've been switching and rotating boards but it's been given a good go. Uh, the mission board here brand new out of the packaging so we can't give it a direct comparison but I think you can see the small differences here already that they've made. I, I think those sections look much larger on, on the um, scoring beds which is what they said. The wiring does look a little bit better, the colours certainly pop and look good and when we tested it the size was a huge improvement so already I think that we've got a nice step up from the original. I've thrown in a little time lapse here so you can see some of the testing that I was doing on the board using lots and lots of different darts that were sent to me by mission and at the end of the three week period I've done a little recording so you can see exactly how the board looks and how it held up.
Now, for full disclosure, I did clout that treble 20 pretty hard, which is why it's got a dent on it. But also, for how many treble 20s I hit, it still looks really, really good in that section. I thoroughly enjoyed throwing on this board, and in fact, when I've been doing reviews for other brands, I did stick this board back up because I wanted to play on it more and more and more. Now, I've been using the Luna CS aggressive points on this board, so really it should be in much worse shape. You can see how well it's held up. Simply put, this is a very nice dartboard for $49.95. So guys, missions, Samurai Infinity, what do we think? You can see it here, in all its glory. Um, a fantastic dartboard, if I'm honest, and at $49.95, I think it's probably one of the best value dartboards on the market. You're gonna get durability, hopefully, from this, although it does remain to be seen. But what I like most is that this is a softer dartboard than what they had with their Samurai 2. So you do have that choice. And as I've shown, there are people who like a hard dartboard because they want their durability, they want something to put up and they're not going to have to take down after three months. And there are those who like a softer dartboard that's going to play better, a little bit more professional. When I did speak to Mission, I did give them ideas and improvements on what they could do with their board. I'm really glad to see that the sizal improvement is one of the things they've looked at here. The deeper colours on there has also meant that the sizal hasn't come through and you get those sort of coloured strands, those white coloured strands, it's looking a lot better than it would do at a three week period testing. I've really enjoyed testing this board and one of my friends actually said that this board sits between a blade carbon and a unicorn board in terms of the softness. So it's a little bit softer than a carbon, but harder than a unicorn board. And the unicorn boards were typically known not to be the best home boards. They were getting lots of size on coming out and they were very, very soft. So if you're looking for a home board at $49.95, I really don't think you can go too far wrong when trying out this dartboard. But for me, an HD ring would have really finished this off. Just like that. hope you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more from me. It costs you nothing but means the world to me. It means that I can bring more content to you, the darts fans. Once again, thanks for watching and remember, love darts.